rats, damaged crops, buildings and infrastructure costing billions of euros every year. Moreover, they carry diseases that threaten humans. Can we defeat rodents using smart electronics? We're in Birmingham, where scientists are looking for an answer. Professor Michael Tisdale is a chemistry professor, but also has a small holding where he has a rat problem. His chicken pens are invaded by rodents who gnaw through anything to get to the food he feeds his animals. The chickens in this uh, pen have got uh, food there. The rats come out at uh, night, they dig a hole and they get under the door, get back up inside and eat, eat the food. Like everyone with the same problem, Professor Tisdale puts down poisonous pellets. But ordinary poisons don't seem to help anymore. Rats seem to enjoy some common toxins, treating them as free food. The place is literally alive with them at, at night, even though we put poison down. They do eat the poison, but they seem to become resistant to the, the poison. That, that's the main problem. So what to do if ordinary poisons don't stop the rats? A European research project, Pied Piper, is working on a new approach. Rather than waiting for the rats to eat enough poison to die, the new system sprays rodents with a single deadly dose of toxin. This is uh, one of the first commercial systems that will uh, spray rats and actually kill them through absorbing the toxin through their skin. Scientists have created a vitamin D-based formula safe for other animals, but deadly for rats who can't metabolize it. Experiments have been carried out to see how quickly the toxin gets into the rodent's blood after spraying. We perform all our experiments uh, in glassware in the laboratory um, to a model membrane that represents rat skin. Um, once we've optimized all the different formulations, we can then select out the best way of transferring the vitamin across the skin. To deliver the toxin, researchers have made an electronic device that uses light sensors to trigger the deadly spray at exactly the right moment. The rodent enters here, makes its way through the trap, gets sprayed on with the can system. We've also got a little hole here, which is designed for the pheromone uh, to attract the rodent. The system detects when the rat is directly under the can. It's not triggered if it's not a rat, or if two rats try to enter from both ends at the same time. There's a microprocessor on the circuit board down here, which, so it acts as a, a smart controller. Um, so it gives the option for the, the device to send out a signal or a message to the pest control officer to tell them to come and replace the can. The current poison pellet system known as multi-feed stations kills rats slowly and painfully by causing internal bleeding. This new device is more humane as the rats die of a heart attack one day after being sprayed. The uh, multi-feed station means that the animal can choose how much it wants to eat and doesn't often eat enough to kill it. The prototype system um, has a single shot formulation which means it's guaranteed death once it's been sprayed. Mm -hmm. 